In this video, I'm gonna talk about a brand new feature just released by Garmin called AutoLand. I'll be talking about this in two parts. First, what is this feature and what does it do? Second, how do I feel about it and how will the aviation community respond to it? Right here, right now. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Mile High Firebird. My name is Seth. On this channel, it's all about really cool pilot jobs in general aviation, such as banner towing, ferrying airplanes, flying cargo, and many other awesome ways to put flight time into your logbook, as well as tips and strategy videos for helping you become the best commercial pilot you can be. If you're interested in this journey with me, consider becoming a subscriber because I appreciate you very much and I thank you for being here. Okay, so what is AutoLand and what does this button do? Well, AutoLand is a project that Garmin has been secretly working on since 2011, and they've just released it to the public. AutoLand, it's basically a digital parachute for the pilot and the passengers on board the aircraft. So let's say a medical issue comes up or a pilot becomes, I don't know, incapacitated or he becomes disoriented, the automatic system will intercept the problem and will take over to automatically save the day. Or when it's activated by the pilot or even a passenger, let's say, but in an emergency situation, it will stabilize and if necessary, will land the aircraft. At times it'll display a message that says, are you alert? And if nobody touches the button or presses it on the panel, it will assume that the pilot is incapacitated and then it will descend to a breathable altitude and level off. In the case of a pressurization problem, it will activate immediately. It's kind of cool. It will gently nudge the flight controls to keep the airplane out of an over or an under speed situation and to limit the bank angle and prevent a stall. Then it's gonna initiate a sequence of finding a suitable safe airport nearby based on the calculations of fuel, wind, and even potential weather, which it can forecast. It's pretty cool. And it begins to take that airplane to the airport to then result in a safe touchdown on a runway. And then it's gonna roll it to a stop, shut it down, and broadcast a message on the local frequency as well as to ATC that the airport is closed because of a disabled aircraft on that runway. It can also display a video that will instruct the passengers how to open the door and safely exit the aircraft. This system will also remove any unnecessary displayed functions and any information that maybe a non-pilot who's sitting in the pilot seat wouldn't know or wouldn't understand and that they're trying to work on the issue to safely get on the ground while still in the air. It will automatically transmit an emergency on 121.5 as well as broadcast an emergency situation has occurred to ATC through the transponder. The system knows how to compensate for wind on landing, whether or not anti-icing or de-icing is necessary, and then how much braking to use based on the length of the runway that it automatically chose during the decision-making process of the emergency. This technology is pretty mind-blowing, and I can see why Garmin has taken almost a decade to release it. During initial testing, Garmin created runways in the sky and built approaches to those runways, having the system then fly to the runway, giving them ample altitude to work with. This system has completed 800 safe landings since this process of testing has started and has the FAA's full cooperation and approval. Hey, but let's be clear about something. This is a break glass in case of an emergency, not, hey, I'm too lazy to land, so I'm just gonna push this button. Doesn't work that way and it's not meant for that. It is meant for emergencies only. And when you push this button, it is the same as declaring an emergency to ATC on the radio. All right, so that's the basics of the system. In the description below, I'll link the full article if you want to read more. All right, part two. So how do I feel about this system and how do I think the aviation community is gonna respond? Well, I'll be honest. When I first saw this, I immediately judged it and kind of rejected the idea because I'm a stick and rudder pilot and I truly love the relationship between the pilot and the airplane. However, once I dug deeper into it, 
I begin to see how amazing this thing is and that it is meant to save lives. There have been way too many people, way too many pilots who have passed out during a pressurization leak or an incapacitation or something has happened to then fatally crash in a field somewhere because the plane ran out of fuel and the plane just flew itself into the ground. So being that this technology is meant to save lives, I honestly think that the aviation community will respond well to this, except that it will be probably way too expensive for anybody to buy for their own personal airplanes. It will probably be installed in, next to the parachute button in a Cirrus, which, you know, there's plenty of jokes about that. But overall, I think it's a good thing and it would be pretty impressive to see this in every single airplane. I personally just hope it doesn't get too misused or transform into an automatic process in the future, basically taking the aviator out of the operation and out of the equation. I just don't want pilots to become obsolete because I generally care about this industry and I want to see it alive for many, many years to come. Stay tuned to the channel because I'll have a video coming out about that subject pretty soon. All right, so to conclude, what do you guys think about this new technology? Do you like it or do you think it sucks? Will it save lives or will it be another expensive piece of equipment that takes up weight in the airplane? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy this content, please help me keep general aviation strong by sharing this video with somebody important to you or somebody that you think will benefit from watching it. I'm here making these videos to add value to you as a pilot and to keep general aviation alive. This industry needs pilots like you and I to keep it strong by talking about it, promoting it, and working the everyday grind in the jobs we absolutely love to do. Do me a favor, comment, like, subscribe, and fly that airplane to the finish every single time.